everyone, this is yet another result of my never-ending search for interesting rainbow-colored food. I found this idea for rainbow fudge on Pinterest and a link to the actual website where I found this recipe is in the description box. So here we go. Each layer of this fudge rainbow requires six ounces of white chocolate. And this is how it is sold here. It's sold in these little squares and there are six of them in each box. So basically you just unwrap each little square of white chocolate and then cut it up into chunks. It just makes it easier to melt that way. You could also use six ounces of white candy melts for this as well. Put the chocolate in the bowl and then add one half cup or four ounces of sweetened condensed milk. That's about 125 milliliters. Pour that in there, put that in the microwave and microwave on high for about 50 seconds to one minute. Stir it around until the chocolate and the milk is combined and then add your food color. I'm starting with the purple layer first. That is paste food coloring. You could also use liquid food coloring for this as well. Stir it around and then for flavoring, I'm going to add one quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract, but you could use any kind of flavoring you'd like. You could use lemon extract or cherry or almond, whatever you prefer. Stir that around and then you're going to place it into a loaf pan. Now what you need to do is line the loaf pan with aluminum foil. Easiest way to do that, turn the loaf pan upside down, mold your aluminum foil, and then it fits right in the bottom, just like that. Then pour in the first layer of the fudge, which is the purple layer. Pour it into the bottom and tap it gently on the countertop to try to get most of those bubbles to come to the surface. Then put it in the freezer for about 15 minutes, just enough so that the top starts to harden a little bit and this will keep the colors from mixing up and the colors will remain separate. And then you're going to repeat the same process over and over again with all the rest of the colors. Six ounces of chocolate, one half cup of sweetened condensed milk. Microwave it for 50 seconds to a minute approximately. Stir it, add your food coloring and a little bit of flavoring. This layer is blue. And then you're going to pour that one on the partially set first layer. And once again, tap it so that the layers are nicely stuck together and you get most of those bubbles coming to the surface. Then this is going to go back into the freezer for 15 minutes. And then you're going to continue this way until all your colors of the rainbow are done. You're going to need 36 ounces of white chocolate and 24 ounces of sweetened condensed milk for this as well about, about a teaspoon and a half or so of vanilla extract. Here goes the last layer. Once you put that last layer on, you're gonna put this whole thing into the refrigerator and let it chill at least 12 hours. Once that's completely chilled, remove it from the loaf pan using the aluminum foil and then peel the aluminum foil gently so it doesn't rip from the fudge. And then you're just going to slice it up. The first slice won't be as pretty because the way my loaf pan it has angled edges. So you're going to be missing a color on the first slice. But the second slice, as you will see, is a very nice rainbow. And I'm slicing this up. I guess that is about three quarters of an inch. But you can make them thinner or thicker. That's up to you. There is the completed rainbow. Good idea to wipe your knife off in between cuts so you don't start getting mixing of colors. Then to serve it. You're going to slice off small portions. Make them small because this is very sweet, very rich, and it's not something you're going to want to eat a lot of. One of these loaves makes approximately 40 or so pieces of fudge. This is a sweetened condensed milk and chocolate fudge. It's one of the easiest ones you can make, and it also tastes very creamy and very good, but very sweet. This whole batch is actually going to be sent to my son's school because that's way too much fudge to be sitting in my household because we don't have that many people living here. You can see some of the bubbles in the fudge. Um, I probably should have tapped the fudge a little bit more to try to get those little bubbles to come to the surface. Otherwise, it turned out great. If you like rainbow colored food, I do have a rainbow playlist. So why don't you check that out? 
This would be great for a bake sale too, I think. So why don't you give it a try?